All right, so many of you have been asking me questions lately about the willow cuttings that we did last year. So last winter, I think it was midwinter, maybe even a little bit later on, we did a bunch of willow cuttings. We actually did several videos of willow cuttings in which we took smaller cuttings, we took thinner cuttings, we took fat cuttings, and then we even did a video on how do we grow these roots in soil versus water, and then how do we up pot the little cuttings that were rooted in water into soil. There were so many questions around that group of videos and we did a lot of little experiments with it and had a lot of fun. But you guys are coming back to me and saying, hey Mike, are those willows even alive anymore? You haven't mentioned them at all. Well, they are still alive. They're right behind me now. And they desperately, desperately need to get potted up. So here's those little willow cuttings that we've been following along here since last winter. I haven't showed you much in a while because there wasn't really much to show you. They grew lots of branching through the summer last year. As you can see, these were the original cuttings down here in the pots. All this other stuff is new growth. And now of course it's spring and we've got new growth coming from that. You can see the fat cuttings. We did these huge fat cuttings in here and even did one red twig dogwood down in there with them, which rooted very well and is actually putting on some new growth here. It's got a nice little branch coming from down below in there somewhere. But I left these in here probably way too long. They are completely busting out of the seams with these little cups. And if you look, you can see the roots have grown, grown outside of the container. Look at this. Hold on look at that i mean <laughs> it's just a mat of roots it's absolutely pathetic we got to do something about this in fact i'm gonna have to cut a lot of those roots off but these willow are so resilient it doesn't even matter so what we'll do is we're just gonna pull some of these apart i'm probably not gonna even keep all of these because they're so easy to root they're so easy to grow they're so plentiful we'll just pull a couple apart put them into pots and have them to plant out on our property and uh don't forget, we can always take cuttings off of those trees. So as you can see, these things are absolute monsters in this little pot. And just to get them out of the pot, I'm going to have to uh, cut all of these roots off of the bottom of these things here. <laughs> I'll show you here in just a sec the size of these roots. Absolutely crazy. These willow are super invasive plants and you definitely don't want to plant them around the foundation of your home or around any wells or anything, septic systems, anything that you don't want roots growing into because they will do it. I mean, look at that. Look at that. That is crazy. Those roots are just busting out there. And you can see some of those fatter white new roots starting to grow off the old roots. So we got to get that separated. There it is. There it is. A pile of roots from willow trees and like I said these things are so easy to root just not easy to get apart I would seriously recommend if you guys are gonna do this after this last experiment just put them into individual pots they are gonna root trust me <laughs> and so I just did this to save space but uh, geez individual pots would be fine they're probably all gonna root and then you don't have to bust them apart like this I just let them go too long in the same pot but it's gonna work out just fine all right you know it hasn't gone that far into summer yet a lot of times people they just kind of wonder when they can do certain things with plants well early spring late winter early spring is a great time to really mess with plants and tear them up if you have to and do all this kind of stuff because you know they're not quite dormant anymore you can see they're putting on growth but they're the roots are hard they're tough they've gone through a winter and the benefit is you can go all summer now i might have to just keep these guys together you can you can go all summer now growing nice healthy root systems so any damage done by tearing these apart will be remedied by the nice long summer that we have to heal, reestablish, grow tons of roots. Trust me, these will all be big, beautiful plants by the end of this summer that are hardy and strong in their pots and will probably fill out just about any pot I put them in right now. <laughs> so I really don't need all these willow. I might save, I don't know, let's see. Maybe we'll, I'll take the strongest ones. How's that? 
I don't even know if I'm gonna keep all the ones out of the other pots, but there's a nice strong root system. So I'll keep these guys. We've got three of them right here. I might keep some of the others and pot them up, but right now I just wanna get these potted real quick and uh, get them fertilized so I know I've got these here. years ago I did some videos on pruning in which I actually pruned saved the video and a month later or so showed you the results of that pruning and I did it on rhododendrons to show you how pruning can really branch out a plant nicely now with these guys the pruning is going to be a little different now these are trees so I really don't necessarily need to prune back to get more branching at this low of a height but I do want to make sure that more energy is redirected down into the roots right now because I just disturbed them like crazy. And those disturbed roots have to support all of this new top growth. So I don't want that yet. I want to give them another month to redirect down to the roots, get reestablished in there, and then start putting energy into the top growth through the rest of the summer. So I'm going to come through here. I know it's hard to do, but you got to do it to make a nice healthy tree, in my opinion. And I'm just going to prune these guys back. In fact, I'm going to take that off. We're going to take quite a bit of material off of these things. And they'll be happier for it. Now, as far as these cuttings, I could probably just stick these in water and get more roots. But, I mean, there's only so many plants you can deal with in one shot. So, I'm not going to worry about those. But these will turn into some beautiful trees over time. And I do have plans, once we get this pond built out back, to put some of these willow around that pond. I think it'll look real pretty and just add a lot of, a lot of nice green vegetation through the summer around there and little homes for birds and animals and things like that. Now that's not going to be the final resting place, but that's just kind of where they're going for right.